And then you did your talk, and then you talk normally, but you do actually have a higher voice now. Oh, do I actually? Yeah. Oh, it has I, I? Oh, okay. I don't remember it changing. So yeah, I think yeah. you're lying. No, it's higher since I last heard, but it's been a while, so you probably don't hear the difference because it's you hear it every day, right? Yeah, that is generally how it works. Yeah. It's like somebody seeing your cat is like, oh my god, that cat is like five times the size, yeah. and you're like, really? <laughs> yeah, you it's don't like notice? it does. Yeah. Well, because there's there's some probably some psych word that maybe somebody knows i don't know i don't know the word though there is a word though i can confirm there is a word for it i mean it's just like phrase presence right like if you're you're seeing it mm. move more little by little so you don't notice the mm -hmm. change as much yeah, yeah there's like a sh there's a term to say oh, yeah. it instead of saying like a ten dollar word instead of just describing yeah. it like a yeah 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway, like a remedial my person. Album. Yeah. My beautiful album is there for you. No, it's not beautiful scan. until we get to the arcanes I saw. Damn. The, now my arcanes are smushed. Very beautiful. <laughs> smushed, squeezed arcanes. <laughs> and the souls with 14 yeah. pixels per. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, <laughs> well, so believe it or not, MS Paint isn't very good when it comes to that kind of stuff. That's true. Do you have your gain a little high on your mic? Uh, probably. Is it louder than usual? No, no, it's just like high gain, so it's like a little bit uh, distorted. Uh, probably. Hold on. Uh. <laughs> Turns right. a filter. That should be a bit better. Hello, that, that should be better. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. You know, I was trying. I was trying to. <laughs> I was trying to flex how I can how I can make my voice sound like a dude, mm -hmm. and then my friend I was talking to was like, "You just sound like you're angry now." I'm like, "Shit, I can't do it anymore." <laughs> <laughs> Literally, just can't do it anymore. It's like that's the one party trick I'm supposed to be able to do, isn't and I can't the, even do it. Is that the Omegle the Omegle meta? Omegle meta. Mm -hmm. Uh, if you're a femboy, like dress up as a well, like. Look like a woman and then do like, hey, what's up, dude? And then <laughs> the other person's like, what the fuck? You know, that, that's a that's a femboy thing. I wouldn't. No, I do know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you would know. I, I'm very. Don't worry. Don't worry. I am very intimately familiar with femboys. Wink, mm -hmm. wink. You have a familiar's named after them. I do. Okay. All right. The long-awaited Sinia return. Long awaited. Sinia return. I mean, I, I haven't left. I've just been kind of around. Oh, wait. That's the Do wrong thing. Yeah, have you? You've been doing uh, your weeklies? You've there. been playing still? Uh, I have actually been pretty consistent with my weeklies. I miss, I miss one here and there, but... Okay. You know, I get on and do my weeklies. I don't get berserked or I patch back up and I cry and then I wait for next week and rinse and repeat, you know. All right. But you've gotten full arcanes, decent stars? Uh, 17. 19 web? 19 web, yep. 21 glove. Mm -hmm. Bring Bringing them all up evenly, I see. Oh, yeah, totally. 17, totally. 21, 17, 17. Mm -hmm. Don't uh, underestimate the 19 arcanes. They're busted. It's more so that I don't have the money or the backups right okay but you did for the oh. glove or how did you you just rage tapped i just uh for the glove i i think i did like i spent like all the money i had saved up during an event and got that actually oh oh no because i got it up to 21 and i tried going for 22 and it boomed and then i got it back up at 21 i was like i'm done <laughs> It's staying there. Okay, but why are you going for 22 in an item if you have 17s next to it? Just get everything 19. Uh, You'll get so much more damage for less money. Okay, okay. All right. Once once everything is 19, then you can start, you know, going for the tap into 21s and everything. But you've got, like, the easy gain still that you can tap into. Okay, you see, this is the shit I don't know because I'm a baby. Okay, but because it's like, I think you're at plus 25... 
So it's like 12 and 13, so it's like 14, 15. So like 29 attack on three pieces, so that's that's 90 weapon attack. Hmm, it's a lot of weapons. Yeah, it's, yeah. Plus probably like 80 stat as well. Which is like having an apple, or more than an apple on standard all the time, right? Is here we are. It's still like divide and conquer for a while. Spreadsheet. Yeah, spreadsheet. Well, before all of that, if we're, if we're diving into it. So you're still playing here and there, but you don't have insane amounts of time. Is there any, is there any grinding in on the schedule at all? Well, well, in, well in game, in not, game. Sorry, in game. Yeah, I meant to. It's, it's <laughs> well. So, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> it's it's more so that it's like. I do this crazy thing that uh -huh. not a lot of people Maple Story know about. Uh -huh. Um, it's actually really, it's actually like a really like forbidden technique almost. It's called I play when I want to, uh -huh. and when I don't want to play, I don't play. Okay. Yeah. Um, Many people don't I know, know that. That's crazy. The chat, like, cal calm down, chat. I know, I know, I know that's crazy. I know that's crazy. Hidden tech. So, yeah. Um, and also my. I usually spend more time depending on like patch cycles and other games or new game releases, you know, like, oh, yep. big update in Splatoon. Oh, new expansion of Final Fantasy. Oh, you know, Zolder. Oh, Zel you know. Zelda released, yeah. Yeah. Was that, was um, it, was that Zolder? Yeah, Zolder. Okay. Um, but generally speaking, um, generally speaking, I try to do, um, if like, if I'm like not playing that much, I'll do my weeklies. I'll do like three Oz runs a week and I'll do like half an hour to an hour of grinding when I'm not playing. Mm -hmm. When I am playing actively, it's usually half an hour a day, one or two Oz runs a day. Um, and you know, weeklies on all my characters. Cause I only really do weeklies on my, on my shadow or mm -hmm. I'm not really playing actively. Oh, you're doing like Oz? Then... Any, any luck there so far? Nope. Just nothing, just like a tower ring or a reflect ring, maybe something like that. Not or, even, not, not even. even. Rip. Yeah, I got like a, I got an ultimatum ring. I think. Nice. <laughs> and I was just like, I was like trying it out. I, I was like, I wonder, if it, I, I, was like, I wonder if they actually changed what it did, and then it just lowered lowers my damage your damage, by, yeah, <laughs> by significantly. Like, oh. Yeah, it's like oh. oh. Huh. Yeah, it's a, it's an Huge. interest interesting interesting uh, item you have there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Because you know, back in the day, it's like oh, the evil tomato ring one. <laughs> rage go like, brr, and now it's rage go. <laughs> yeah, now those numbers know. are astronomical compared sure. to what a ring can do. Yeah. Okay, so uh, but Oz is 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 a going. Yeah, you actually, are, I, um, I actually on. like Oz. Oz is pretty relaxing. Okay, I find. I like Oz. You're not three minute class, right? Are you? Uh, I am. Yeah. Oh, because of the um, the so you get to. final damage shadow thing in fifth job. Yep. Yep. That's like what 185 seconds or something weird like that. So 190. Yeah, 190, it's really yeah. weird. Mm -hmm. But your other stuff right. is all. Do you have like a 90 second rotation as well? Uh, yeah. Yeah, you got a 90 and a 180. Okay. So, yeah. So I I'm, I need to do the um. I need to pull out the uh, weapon jump. Yeah. 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 Exactly. You get two rings, which is even better. And you get to use, well, so it's not like the Dawn Warrior. Where basically, you'd have like everything at three minutes, and then you're just kind of like DPM and other than that, <laughs> you have some other stuff that you're yeah. weaving. Okay. Yeah. Um. Okay. What's the um, so? What, what, is there stuff in the game that you want to be able to to get to? Black mage. Black mage, okay. And so what's I know your... I need to get to 270. <laughs> well, that'll be That's... very helpful. The more you want to be carrying your own weight, the closer you want to get to 270 for mm -hmm. sure before. Or close mm -hmm. to it, you know. If you have a group of people that's all like in the 260s or early 270s that wants to get started up. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think that on my chopping block before I really do start like actively trying to do black mage is I want to get and roar or and weapon jump mm -hmm. oh i just got um, something whoops don't worry about it did you invite me to your your own discord no oh i don't play beast Tank, i know i don't know why oh. I said that. <laughs> um yeah so i want to get a roar and i want to get to 270 before i start doing black mage mm -hmm. that's kind of my line in the sand for myself 
I actually have plenty of friends who who said they could probably carry me, and I was like, I don't want to get carried though. Mm -hmm. I want to at least. I said I want to at least pretend that I contribute. So I want to get level where I can contribute to a full party. Yeah, yeah. But if a friend decides to carry me, I would go along as long as I'm able to contribute to a full party. That's my that's my mantra. Sure. You know the BA that you're going for. Hmm. The BA that you're uh, going BA? for 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 Black Mage, yeah. Um, uh, I was told a number at some point and I forgot it. If you're trying to be just basically just carry your own weight, um, and probably around sixty bill a second damage at level two seventy for a for a Black Mage BA. So you could do, because then that'll turn into like a 75 millisecond at 275, which would be basically like the accepted minimum. Mm -hmm. um, and then another, uh, so if you're at 260, you could extrapolate from that. Another 10 levels below that. Well, then with 15 levels below. So you do one. What is one eighth of seventy five? Just a little under ten, like nine. Mm. So if you could do a BMBA now and you could hit nine bill a second, that <laughs> basically means that uh you're on track already gear wise. If you're below that then you also need to upgrade gear, but of course a roar would be a big increase, yeah. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Makes yeah. Sense. The metrics are under the the BA command. It's got a little thing where you can um, like deposit the BA metrics, the mathematics, and then um, I can use that for my commands and everything. But it also has the setup of, of the settings for the boss and everything. So you have that all in one place. Okay. Why haven't you job changed to NL yet? Hey, Chaos, I'm gonna <laughs> fucking kill you in Minecraft. <laughs> she's a she, <laughs> I was gonna say she's a creeper, but... <laughs> Creeper. <laughs> um. Yes. Uh. Okay. Black Mage. And and what have you done in between? Running up to Black Mage. What has already been done? What hasn't been done? What has been sold? What has been partied? What do you want to um, do in there? So I can theoretically. Um. I can theoretically duo. Uh. Hard will and hard lucid. Um, I did a run with, um, an old friend of mine who played Paladin, and they were, um, they were, like, normal lucid ready. Um, so, like, so, I, it was really, really, really tough, and, like, we barely made it, but we did clear it. So, yeah, I, I think if I had, like, a Kana mm -hmm. around my level, I could, I could do it. I could duo it. Maybe not Kana, but somebody closer to my gear level i mm -hmm. could duo it well the paladin's got the Roar, um it's got the the hyper yeah. skill right so it gives you an extra 30 seconds when you would be webbed mm -hmm. out but instead you're immune yeah you build up um, a lot of yeah i think i could solo it if i had a roar i'm not 100 sure though. Mm -hmm. what kind of stat are you at 40 yeah that's possible i think you're at that at the cusp of, of being able to do that, yeah, for sure. And then Lucid is also soloable, just... Yeah. Right? Just about phase three, but that shouldn't give you any more problems, right? Mm-hmm. And also, I mean, yeah, also just phase one is... Yep. And any Tenebra stuff going on? Um, I had a party, and we were doing, um, Chaos, Bloom, and, uh, Vihila. Mm-hmm. Um, so I do have uh, three fragments of destiny. Mm -hmm. um, we say you had a party. You, have... you ran once. <laughs> no, no, we ran a few times. I think I cleared okay. Vihila like. The hard I, Vihila I had... should should drop three every time. Per oh, round. I mean, um, it's actually in the album. If you look at the bottom. Oh. In the in the pixelated shit, it should <laughs> have the uh, flames and the. Oh, you got 27. Yeah, yeah, and three of those. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you did like so 10 I clears. 
What was what's the what's the item for the black mage? That's what I meant. The fragment of destiny was for the black yeah, mage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. You're right. I thought you meant the one in the in the middle. <laughs> the whatever the fuck the, that the, thing is called. The the poop. Like that looks like a poop to me. Yep, yeah, the little poopy thing. Yeah. Yeah. Um. How many do I have? Where is it? Oh, 241. Shadow of Annihilation. Wow. That's a edgy name. Mm-hmm. If something doesn't look very edgy. It's like poopy. Not very. But yeah. Um. So, I'm planning... So... Like, what's... Um. Yeah, so besides doing awesome to get... That's like my next, like, big thing that I was really gunning for. Mm -hmm. As well as leveling. Um. So, those are two things that I knew I needed to do. But, um... Yeah, kill Snibber's party, Oz. Because mm. the kill Snibber's party will also get you more backups, right? Or also more arcane backups, and I'll give you mm -hmm, mm -hmm. easier window into 19. It'll basically be yeah. free if you just tap on event, and then up to 10, 21 will make way more sense once you have like two or three backups of each of them. Then that's yeah, just kind yeah. of free as well, not having to pay mm -hmm. five bill per backup. Um, I luckily have some backup droplets, but... Mm -hmm. Yeah, but very, yeah. if you put them all together, that's usually barely like one drop, or you have to pay extra to get the one drop, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Even with the event stores and stuff, if you get droplets from there with leftover currency, it still takes a while to just scrape a scrape an How actual full equip. Uh, it's a hundred and eight, and then two sixteen for a weapon. So I can pick. I can pick up an extra. With all my drops. Mm -hmm. Well, I like the I boxes a lot because it makes basically for a for a flexible backup, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now you can try tapping things. Try 18 goes 18. Try another one goes 18. Keep going. Something booms. Remake it to 17. Yep. That's what mom did recently. She had uh, I think she had one at 20 and three at 19, and she got all four to 21. And the box was nice. left over. Nothing boomed. <laughs> If you Thanks. get one lucky streak like that, and then, yeah, you gain like, you know, what is it, like 140 oh, weapon attack or mom, something? Mom never struggles. Mom <laughs> never struggles. No. <laughs> Not really. Except That's when she's bossing. Match. Okay, she has got a little bit of a bossing penalty there going on. She, she just has old lady hands. Yeah. Never grew up with a computer, so no keyboard mechanics. Um, the other thing is if you are going to do the leveling, um, uh, question is what do you want to do with your inner ability, right? But you have mm -hmm. no honor EXP, so you have no, you have no honor, so there's, not, no there's honor. not much you can do honor, at this point. 142,000 is something. Yeah, but if you're locking item drop rate, that's, what is it, 5.5k or something per... Per roll, so if you got, you don't even have 30 rolls, so on a 50% off, so that's most likely just going to ruin your top line. Oh no, that that uh that that the plus seven strength is doing some work. I yeah, no, that. that's do some heavy lifting. But I mean, I would just yeah, yeah say get all the honor, the exp that you can, so you that like by the time you get to 270, you can also get yourself a nice damaging inner ability that can help you out. Mm -hmm. Um, so like honor exp from event shops would probably be a good idea. Try to get at least one good dojo run in per week somewhere, so you can get some free coins there. That's free, honor exp. And uh, yeah, I mean week weeklies that kind of stuff. Like mm -hmm. keep your honor going. Cause mm -hmm. ideally you want to have like a a mil and a, well mil and a half is like bare minimum, but tip, ideally I would say like two to two and a half mil honor before you like try to tap for like a more end game type inner ability. Yeah. Although you do have 14% drop rate, I like keeping that just for pitched, <laughs> and mm -hmm. then kind of like work ar around that. And you don't have anything, I think, as a shatterer that you desperately need, right? It's just to pump damage, mm -hmm. like boss um, damage to debuffed. Yeah, damage to debuffed. Maybe um, crit, but then you just work around maybe it. Maybe crit. Yeah. Yeah, maybe crit, but yeah, like you said. Okay. I could. I think like I can drop Phantom Link if I get crit rate on my inner ability but did you put a spooky jump scare <laughs> yeah <laughs> spooky 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 you, you miss the other one i miss the other spooky one is there one in the background oh yeah. uh, you'll see you should see at least it's with my drop gear oh yeah it's gonna <laughs> yeah it's dripped it's dripped out oh. what is that bunny it's 
It's Mari. It's oh, Mar you're looking at trying to read the Supreme jacket? Yeah. Oh, is it Supreme? Oh. Wait, what is on there? Um. Nessa? Uh, I fuck. It's, I forget what it says. <laughs> I'm not zoomer enough. <laughs> you're zooming out. <laughs> yeah. By any means necessary. There oh, by any means necessary. Oh, is that cool or is it Zoomer confirmed? Okay. Damn. So those are the things. Um, so alrighty. what's my priority for upgrading I'm looking at? So number one is 19 star my... Is 19 star my arcanes. Well, when you're training uh, right now, how's your sacred doing? Have you been at 260 for a while and building that? You have 40 sacred power? Yep. That means level four, right? Because it was going like yep. one at a time, right? Yeah, okay. Sure. Um, the saver is going to be pretty blessed for you because it's going to be Cernium 10 per day now. Or when saver comes around. And then an extra five with burning. And then hotel is going to be 10 at 270 immediately as well. So you're going to be building those up quite a lot faster. Uh, it's going to give you some free stat, of course, but... The main thing is that you can actually train, but so f for now you're still going to be training in Limina, um, and you've got full drop mezzo set completion. That's all good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What is your what, what's your drop one hundred mezzo? You get a full set like that with a bunch of split mm -hmm. ones. Okay, and you can um, yeah for fams right? How's the fams looking? Uh, I have. Mm. So I have my 100% drop one, my large drop. Mm -hmm. I have uh, HP, MP, 20% mm -hmm. boss, 30% IED. Uh, yes, that's it. Okay, hang on. I also Recap. have a 20 IED. 20 IED? We have one boss damage? Is that what you're I have one 20%, yep. Oh. I have one 30%. I have 120% IED, and I have a smattering of large HP and MP party yeah. members. Yeah, and then one large row. Okay. Okay, that's pretty good. Um, but you're going to keep getting fams so, uh, when you're training. Mm -hmm. So it'll be up to you a little bit if you want to keep turning them into epics and maybe uniques for this character, or if you maybe have another character in mind that you want to keep on the low, or you just keep the cards for now because maybe... Um, I don't know if you've looked into Kali at all, if you might be interested in that one, because you're playing like Kadena, Shadower. It seems like it's going to mm -hmm. be kind of in the I'll same wheelhouse. Mm -hmm. And we get a Terror Burn. So I try it out. Exactly, yeah, <laughs> yeah, might as well. Gotta get that Legion block, mm -hmm. right? I mean, also, I just, you know, I'm a, I'm a Thief player main, so. Yep. The only Thief I don't have 200 plus is so young, because that's a mage. <laughs> that's my highest level Thief. <laughs> Oh my lord, yeah, of course it is. It's a 230, yeah. Beautiful. Okay, yeah, so those, those are options. Um, money, you've got like WAPs and all of that stuff set up? Yep, yep, okay. plenty of WAPs. I do plenty the good old, um, the, uh, the Threads of Fate stuff. So. Yep, okay. Uh, I've got the line of ID and your emblem I see here. How close are you to getting rid of that 35? Ooh, that's actually pretty. Is the the buffed range, is that with two bossing fams, one ID fam on? Oh uh, no, that's 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 empty. Without fams, yeah, okay. So the ID fam that's kinda just, like that's um that's with flip of the coin and my hundred percent uptime buffs. Right, right, okay, okay. Applied via pet. Yeah, so an ID buff would roughly Make up for losing the emblems IED line. So it'd be like mm. just a little bit under 95 or something. Okay, mm -hmm. okay, okay. Also, I, I have uh, with um, my actual applied IED with, you know, the, um, what's it called? The, uh, the yeah. thing with the node stones that you upgrade the skills with. The Boost nodes. The V matrix boost, boost nodes, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and you've got oh, all of your links. What's your what's your legion at? My legion. It should be with my my stat window at the top. Oh, can you see that there now? Legion seven seven three four. Ooh, okay. I would definitely work on getting eight k there. Do you have a mm -hmm. plan character set up for the bonking this event? Um, 
Not quite yet. Um, it's 141 on, plus. Yeah, I was working on my... Uh, my arc is at 178. I wanted to get him to 210 for the level 3 link skill. That was mm -hmm. kind of what I was working on. Yep. Um, other than that... Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll bonk my Hill Young. Yeah, might as well. But yeah, there's a decent amount of bunks here, and then uh, Savior has a whole lot of um, level up potions as well. Oh yeah, true. So, um, yeah, I mean, it seems like you're really close to 8, but you're not quite there yet, of course. Uh, but you've got 42 mm -hmm. characters now to work on, right? Rather than 40 before, so mm -hmm. it should be pretty decently doable. But it's mainly because you get to put 5 extra characters on the board, so you get to make sure that all of the... Critical damage, boss damage, IED, that that's completely filled. Is there anything... Uh, what's your uh, Legion grid looking like right now? Like with this bossing setup? Um, so it's uh, it's full crit damage, ignore mm -hmm. defense, reaching out and giving a fist bump with boss damage. Right, so you have like 10 or something in, in boss damage, but not full yet? Uh, 27. 27, okay, right. that's pretty good, yeah. And then it's giving a fist bump. Right, but crit is empty. Crit rate, uh, I mean, Crit sorry. rate, yeah, crit yeah. rate's empty, yeah. See, he's giving a fist bump. Do you see? Oh, I see, yeah, kinda. That's uncanny. <laughs> if you I look at it sideways, it's more like a like a golf, uh, like a flag or something. Oh, it's a flag, yeah, yeah, I see it, I see it. My head is, it kinda hurts doing that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, or it's a claw <laughs> upside <laughs> down, it's, a, it's like a claw yeah, from yeah. the claw machine. Okay, okay. And there is some Mr. possibility Fletch, to increase the crit rate here and then take out of hyperstat. Mm -hmm. Which is in there. Oh, you don't have any in hyperstat. Only mm -hmm. for mobbing? Yeah. Oh, you're using the, um, the phantom link, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So in a little bit of extra... If you don't do inner ability, then a little bit of extra on the board, plus a little bit in hyperstats, and then you can switch out the phantom link. Mm. So Sorry, uh, preset two is my training preset. Yeah. yeah well, I would hope so, because that's got 15 in bonus ESP, <laughs> and the other one has oh, yeah, zero yeah. in it. Yeah, so mm. I would hope, yeah. yeah. Okay. Wait, normal damage doesn't apply to boss? What do you mean? <laughs> is it ab <laughs> is it should be abnormal damage. Jeez. It's a crazy damage stat. Okay. Um, already, already. They just look a bit too. But other than the cadena, there's nothing really. Are, are you doing any boss muling at all? Um, the two twenties are my boss mules. Okay. I ha and they they can do up to um. Well, technically, my my buck was able to solo um. Damien, but it took the entire timer, so fuck that. Yeah, that's um, not, yeah. So, they do up to C path. I have yep. my buck, I have a uh, Hayato, and I have a Dub. Dub, okay. And I'm working on my Phantom and my Night Walk. The other thief, yeah. Everything except Night Lord. <laughs> Not a Night Lord fan. One of hey hey hey, one of my boss mules is a warrior. Okay, okay. Hayato um, is a warrior. And then one of them is a pirate. Somehow got it. Yeah, true, true. Yeah, got himself yeah. in there. Okay. See, yeah. So, see, see, I I play multi. I play a diverse assortment of yeah. thieves. Well, and... the the reason I'm mentioning it is because once the um once the Shatterer does um is able to start training. Uh, so there's, there's like a few layers, right? Like let's say that you are mm. training in Limina for a while, you're doing more Cernium, blah, blah, blah. Like every every level um, your symbol goes up, I would like try to see if you can uh, if you can grind in Cernium. Um, so here's the rub with grinding in Cernium. Yeah. I would need to ask a Shadower player if how mm -hmm. many hits it would take for Bloody Meso to kill something. Yeah. I just use a fucking KMS name, Jesus Christ. And the bloody pocket still a fucking period. 
He's a Muslim. <laughs> you can't change my mind. Uh, Blood Money, which is a much better skill name. Yeah. Um, I need to see how it, much it takes for Blood Money. If it's like two shot is okay. If it's three shot, how, how long it takes mm -hmm. to kill with Blood Money before yeah, I'm yeah. able to move over to Cernium. Because right now it's a one shot in Ligma. And that's, you for know, sure. that's In good. full drop, yeah. And then you, you go full damage in the other one and it's not even close. So it's a huge jump because you're right at 260. And usually once you can start using like Mesogear, for example, so that you can start killing, you, your Mesogear is probably not well set up to wear it in the higher areas, right? Because you're losing all of your damage on it because it's split. No, I, 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 won't sh I won't shot with a uh, Mesogear on. And yeah, yeah, Limina, but I, if you were I, to I, use yeah. that in... Yeah. Oh, so yeah, for example, yeah, yeah. If, like my DA, for example, has like one item with three lines and one with two lines. So I only switch mm -hmm. out two pieces and then I can keep all the rest damage gear and then use the old spider familiar and then I get full mezzo, but I lose minimal damage. Um, mm. If you uh, scroll down, mm -hmm. if you scroll down to uh, my drop here. Yeah, it's all the way on the bottom, um, right? Or second one. From bottom. Yeah. yeah, it's with Drip Mari. Um, I have a couple of items uh, as like kind of secondary options, air quotes. Mm -hmm. um, if you look at the glasses, mm -hmm. I was thinking about converting those into drop gear because they have the much because they have the transposed flame. I also use the sure. master class because that's raw damage. I also have a different shield, and I have three necklaces. One is greed, and one is a superior golux that has better, more, more, more damage on it, as well as fifteen percent luck. If you look, see mm -hmm. the greed pendant, twenty yep. percent drop. But yeah, so I. Oh, it's only twelve stars. I need well, to fix that. Yeah, the the, um, the the process of making like perfect meso and drop stuff if you don't lock into it. Like this is perfect for Limina, right? But then if you want to do anything in Grandis later, it's probably just going to be full damage, full damage. But w what I was getting at is that once you could maybe switch into meso gear, which for you will be a little bit later because of the type of gear that you have. At that point, I usually think it's better to just stay in damage gear, but go up an area instead, so that you can keep up with the um, EXP lines, and then just make sure that that money keeps coming from your bossing fams, and not so much from trying to brute force sense. it kind of on the main. That makes sense. So hopefully you can, yeah, <laughs> get I mean, to that also point quickly. I have twenty percent extra MS obtained yep. on my shadow. Yeah, exactly. That's a nice little dual sweetener you're trying to get all of your cernium symbols from all of the possible sources uh <laughs> you finish up now has 200 when, i believe when i'm playing, when I'm playing yeah. yeah when you're playing yeah yeah because yeah. i mean the faster you can push that the faster you can actually start training a new area your exp rates per hour are probably going to be like double than or a little bit more than double than in limina so and since you're not yeah, like I, I starving saw. for fams you, and you, but you want to do black mage. I think that's where the pressure is to try to get okay. that certain symbol up ASAP, so you can start training a new area. So yeah, I would definitely check out with like shadowers on roughly around what's that, what they got, what kind of damage they usually mm -hmm. are at when they can start training a new area. Yeah, that'll be good metric to have. Yeah, and and if you want, you could do the BA as well to see kind of if you're wildly off or if you're already gear wise oh, yeah, true, remotely true, close. True. Because I don't think you'll be super far off. Too bad at that magic attack line on your weapon. That's so scuffed. Right. Yeah. I think I've got two items like uh, that on my marksman. It's just painful. <laughs> is there... So, I kind of also want to know priority list for upgrading. So, 19 star arcane is number one. Um, If I look at all the other stuff... Um, I'm curious if there's anything I should re because of the sale coming up. Tomorrow, actually. Mm. Yep, she keeps still coming up. Um, what's your budget right now? Um, I mean, how much do I have? Yep. Uh, so I still need to make the bosses and my other mules, but right now I have six point seven bill. Mhm. Mm so after I do my other bosses, I should have like. Ten bill. I can find some more if I need to. Mm-hmm. Um. 
Yeah, because arcanes to 21 makes sense. Uh, arcanes to 19 makes sense for the arcanes, but you've still got uh, superior gallics is still 17. Mm -hmm. And the superior uh, pendant. I was, I, I was working on getting the superior stuff. My mm -hmm. superior earrings up, but they boomed and they boomed. And they boomed. <laughs> Yeah, so but you see, you don't have a three line one, so you still have the option to transfer hammer two, right? With the reinforced, is that what you were doing, or were you going on superiors? I was going on superiors. Yeah, but do you have any left now? Uh, nope. Okay, so usually What's if I have a item a reinforced earring, so you want to hold on to those for while you're doing uh, helix. That's basically your only one. The only other one would be like crafting meister earrings or. Hunting for shaman earrings in Forsaken Excavation side, but that's a little, shaman earrings, let's that's go. a little crazy to start doing that. <laughs> let's go. Yeah, so be like basically, you want to just hold on to all the reinforced and all the superior and kind of see like what's going on. Like if you have five or six superior, you can definitely try on superior for a bit. But if you if you're down to I would say like two superiors, I would just do the transfer route. Um, and then tap up to 21 first and see if you can get just all the accessories up to 21 first. Uh, if in the same cycle you still have money left and still backups, you can try to do like just two, 22 or bust. But since it's only a 21% lock as well, the potential is really quick and easy to remake. So there's no yeah. real big downside to transfer hammering True. into that. So yeah, you're right. f f as as far as your account goes, like there's definitely potentials that you can work on, but with that limited amount of money, I think you'd be just kind of like pissing it away, and it'd be better to hold on to it for the Savior, yeah. for the Shining Star Force, and for the changes that are ha happening to Star Force, and make sure that you can get some more time to build up those backups. So I'd definitely Is there a Shining thing. Star Force in the event where we get the changes to the 15 star stuff? Yeah, that's in, that's all in Savior, yeah. Ooh, so I can just save up like a lot yeah. of money and just mm -hmm. skip all of the events coming up. Ooh. Pretty much, yeah, because the 30% off now, 5 and 15, mm. a cube sale, I don't think those are good enough for you in the current stage that you're in. You've got your drop on your mm -hmm. mezzo gear. Um, everything is at least like already two-lined. Um, the main thing I think for you is that you have a bunch of stuff that's like 20 or 32 and then a bunch of stuff at 17. I think it's going to be a matter of bringing everything up to 19 and then ideally mm -hmm. up to 20 or 21 on the things that are now 17. And that's going to just increase your damage by so much and it's going to be re it's going to feel relatively easy because you're already used to like getting things to 22 and how fickle that can be. Mm -hmm. um, but once you have that solid foundation of like stuff at 20 or 21, like the Guardian Angel Slam as well, right? Like it's two line luck, that's good so that you can transfer over into it, but you'll need um, with the extra superior. So you want to get extra kind of treasure rings, maybe get make it so that you can get to Meister by the time Shining happens. Uh, how are you doing for, um, oh, uh, how are you doing for uh, Primals and that kind of resources? Oh, I, um, you know that meme of Patrick, um, with like the ice cream saying like I'm starving. And his ice cream on his forehead is that? Yeah. 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 <laughs> okay. I would always ask at the primals. It's like, Cynthia, shut the fuck up! You have too many. <laughs> I think I'm rocking like twenty. Okay. Maybe like fifteen to twenty, somewhere in that range. Mm -hmm. And you've got enough of the other resources. Starving. The grand spell um, essences, twisted times. Let's see here. Um, let me hop on my storage character really fast, which is my Kana. I don't know why I decided to make my Kana my storage character, but here we are. Because you're never going to play it anyway. <laughs> right. <laughs> Get fucked. Uh, da -da 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 -da. All right. Hmm. I'm almost hey, at 200. What? They're they're actually on my shadow or I have a I have them in a pouch. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Let me switch you back. Look, I almost have two hundred, bro. Look at that. One ninety six primals right now. Lord. Imagine using your storage to store things. Could never be me. <laughs> Crazy, right? What a novel concept. Mm -hmm. To be fair, it fills up pretty just, quickly I, with cubes. Right? Right? That's that's what I'm saying. Uh, production bag. Um, I have 31 Grand Spell and 2600 Twisted Times. Okay, you probably have more, uh, Grand Spell Essences, like, 
spread over your characters. Mm -hmm. But I think you need, you need like 150, I think, per ring. Wait, seriously? Yeah, something like that. So you should have a bunch, <laughs> so hopefully, spread over other characters. Maybe in a store I somewhere. Be so sure. I was um, I was using them to craft um the boss rush potions and the um, whetstones. Yeah, if you make so. a whole lot of whetstones, then that will eat up the resource a bit. So, sure. uh, we we'll do that too much because if you want to, so because you don't want all of the pressure to come all on the kind of treasure rings. Although you already have, like you got a sixteen and you've got five more. I think six. Well, I have one at sixty and six yeah. extra, and then five more, and then and you but you already have a twenty-two, so that means that between these six total, you want to get one to twenty-one, tap it into a superior, another one to twenty-one, tap it into another superior, and then tap the superior to twenty-one and, and tap that into a slime, something like that, because I don't think you have slime backups, right? No. So that means. What about um, what about ET? Do you have one of those? I want one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so does everybody else. Um, honestly, you want to get to the point where um, the only reason you would use an ET is because you you got it up to at least 21, and then it's worth replacing whatever else you had. Kind of. Okay. All right. So plan on using um, Angel Ring, and then if I get an ET, I can work on it when I get it. Yeah, and then it'll replace right. your solid ring once you get an ET, basically. If it, if it was... goes high enough. Okay, should, so should I just... um? Because I have the boom to reinforce ring that I was mm -hmm. trying to work on. You're saying I can just... I don't have to worry about it. I can just use a solid and that's okay? If you've got a 20 solid, you, I mean, you would replace it only with a reinforce once it's 21, right? But mm -hmm. if you work on reinforce now, that takes away resources from your Golux yeah. coins, and you want your Golux coins to be able to go... Too much. Yeah, yeah you, you want those to be for... Uh, you already have a pendant at 22, so that's good. So your coins mm -hmm. need to be going towards rings now mainly, which means potential if you want to go 20 to 21 on the superior. And you're going to have to go 21 at least once as well if you want to transfer into the dawn. So that's where all your Golux coins are going to go now. If that all works out and you don't you know, really consume enough of your Golux coins, then you can always decide to go for the reinforced. But in this case, you'll probably have... Kind of treasure superior and slime and you have the Golux ring and then you'll probably mm -hmm. replace the, the the salt ring and you replace that one with a roar and then if you get an et then that'll replace the kind of treasuring but your kind of treasuring is already 22 so the et is gonna have to be pretty good to replace it yeah and so, then if it does yeah. you'll have a really nice extra like drop and mezzo ring in the solid and in the kind of treasure and then you can maybe you know kind of make your gear that way okay, okay. um so, uh, I if you saw, I do have an extra 16 star superior with three fodders. That's mm -hmm. back from when Golux used to drop necklaces. Right. Um, I should use that to transfer into the, um, what's it called? Source the of suffering? Dawn boss thing. Well, yeah. Well, so should I save it for the sauce or should I use it to go into the, um... The Dawn is level 140. Daybreak. The day oh, the Daybreak yeah, is only Daybreak 140? Daybreak is 140, yeah. Oh. So... If you have a lot of those, that's like equivalent to dominators to transfer into superior, actually. It's like the other way around. Mm. Yeah, I don't know why they did the levels like that. But the main thing is, if you get daybreaks, you just hold on to them. And then, because um, once you get a berserked, it'll break the twilight slash uh, slime ring set. And then you mm -hmm. actually want to switch the pendant from transpose Sweetwater over to daybreak so that you can okay. you roughly stay same in damage but then you regain the set bonus again so that yeah. should i invest it all in my sweet water or just leave it at 17 where it is um if you have some dineros I, I feel like tapping it up to 19 is again like compared to all your other upgrades if you can do that during shining as well that that should be pretty free um mm -hmm. yeah if you have a whole lot of 19s like my my uh, hero is kind of in the same position right it's got a whole lot of uh I, I didn't have enough of the backups to do like the whole transfer and then into 20 and then maybe tap to 21. So just kind of, and mm -hmm. I did for reinforced earring, but then I got it, it boomed from 20 to 21, so I couldn't transfer it into the superior. So it just kind of like a rage tapped everything at, uh, at from 17. So I got, let's see what I have. I have 21 kind of treasure and then 20 slime, right? Because of 21 into 20 and then back into 21 and then mm -hmm. just keep it at 20. 
Although I do have backups. Yeah, I think I have two slime backup. Uh, 17 reinforced, so that needs to be improved. And then a 20 superior, just, you know, keeping hit a 20, everyone triggered, get fucked. But then 19 Sweetwater Pendant, 19 Monocle, 19 superior, right? Because 19 superior is 42 attack and just over 100 stat or close to 99 stat. Mm -hmm. And the pendants are, uh, pendants and the monocle are 54 attack and with the flame like 100 and or close to 200 stat. So you add all of those, you know, all of those clumps up together and it's a, it's a whole lot of gains. So it's mainly not trying to get too many 22s just yet, but seeing if you can get a whole mm -hmm. bunch of 19s and 20s and maybe 21s. And then once you have all of that rolling, then you can be like, I want to go all the way. Because um, then you've just capitalized on all of those easier, more achievable gains. Okay. Um, if you notice, I have, I got pretty lucky and was able to get a 20 star black bean mark. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Somebody told me that I should be doing something with that. What should I do with it? <laughs> um, yeah, it's a decent amount of attack. Um, that probably could be a good, uh, like a mezzo piece so that you can maintain damage while still, we quote unquote, wearing mezzo gear, right? Mm hmm. So have it replace my kind of crappy sweet water tattoo. What? Um,. Wait, no, the B mark is an I, right? Yeah, it's I. So it would have to. Oh, wait, shit. Sorry. Yeah, so it's a. Uh... Replacing my monocle. Oh, you have your eye patch now. I mean, it's it's way stronger than your eye patch, right? The B mark, if it got high stat. <laughs> well, the issue is I'd be losing out on two set pitched. Yeah. Mm hmm. I'm, I'm not sure if the trade's worth it. No, I think you keep. I, well, I mean, uh, at this point, because of. Uh, where it's at and how much your, your account right now at least is relying on it. You just hold it until you get another one and then you just kind of like leapfrog them. Okay. Right? Like just like one at a... If the, other one, if the other one goes to 18 then you just upgrade this one again. Whichever one mm -hmm. booms then you switch to the other one kind of thing. Oh, so I kind of use Black Bean as like a backup. You could, you could do that as well. Um... But I would just use an, the other eye patch as a backup and just see if, if something booms you. Just hold on to the other one. It's either that or you just use the black beam mark now and rely on that one now. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, and then like tap this one and see if it goes. If it goes, then you just stick with it. And if it booms, then you, you can use the black beam mark. You could do that if you want to. Um, it depends on how attached you are to the to the set bonus but it, the beam mark is um do you get any boss accessory? you have a potential badge right and you have the book so you don't get any boss accessory set right mm -mm. so you can get a slightly better flame you get like 40 more and some all stat this would be like a 140 stat 46 attack uh i actually threw some flames on it because i got bored I have a 42 luck 5 all stat on the beating mark right now. Okay. Yeah, so the luck is all probably a little bit higher than the eye patch, and it's got like 24 x No. Is it? No, it's 20 something extra attack. Mm -hmm. So 10, 10. So it's just a boss damage now, right? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Assuming that I, you know, rolled the black bean mark to get better lines. Yeah. So it's an option, or you, yeah, or you roll it for mezzo, mm. and then you have a decent full mezzo piece. What's your, what's the equivalent mezzo piece now? The other, you have the other monocle as well. Yeah, that's another eye. And you have the, oh, the sweet water monocle that looks like a pet mark for drop rate. Mm -hmm. Problems? <laughs> Interesting. I have three items that are item drop rate, mezzo, luck. Mm -hmm. Interesting. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I mean, I, I would definitely, uh, maybe it's not like a project right now, but I would definitely keep it in case, you know, some kind of, uh, something oh. comes up, some project. I think I might spend a bit on the cube sale. Just a bit. 
Yeah, what for? Because, like, because, well, because I'm going to be saving for Shining, right? Mm hmm. So I feel like that I can get away spending a bit to uh, fiddle with the Black Bean Mart. I mean, it's probably like in six to seven weeks. Oh, so, wait, really? Yeah, we're it's already. Savior? Yeah, Savior is coming out June 14th, so that's a month from now. Oh, right. This wasn't a. I thought the anniversary was a seasonal event for yeah. some reason. <laughs> yeah, no, this is like the pre, the pre yeah, big event. Yeah, the... no, it's got it's coming pretty oh, soon. Oh, it's probably in like six to seven weeks. Okay. It's probably going to be the shining already. Okay. Never mind then. It's on just, the back. Part. The more money you have, the more options you can. Yeah. You know, more options you can have, and the more you can likely make a make a good deal somewhere. Uh, I think this cube sale is just like very good bait for some people. So I hope everyone. Is, is careful with our money. I, I know, like, it's, you know. But the other thing is also, after Savior, they're also removing defense from cubing. Oh, and, yeah, so it's going to get a lot cheaper. Yeah. Oh, yeah you already talked about yeah. that. Yeah, you're talking about how the stuff, what we're saving on cubes right now is the same that all cubes will be after they make that change. Yeah, that's another six months away, but yeah. So then if you have a cube sale after that, then you're really saving money. Then you're basically spending, like, what, like 55% of what you're spending now off sale mm -hmm. you know so then if you mm -hmm. want to but then you had a shining so hopefully you have a bunch of 20s and 21s and stuff with maybe some scuff potential but then if you have another cube cell after that then you can really start like trying to two and a half and three line everything also way more mm -hmm. efficiently and then you're probably going to be rolling into like the 54 55k stat range and then your mm -hmm. um sacred power is just going to keep adding stat even though you're not really upgrading anything thinking about you know? it yeah yeah you're like just min-maxing some flames and bringing up sacred power and then suddenly you're like 60k stands like what happened and then you equip your ring and then you're like damn i'm sub 60 again <laughs> two questions from future sinning sure i just i just got the time machine mail just came in this is from me in the future mm -hmm. um it's asking a um for the glove yeah how what is that potential looking like? How bad? How good? Settle? Don't settle? When to change it? When to not? Um. So I would go for um, two line critical damage with any third line on it. Um, okay. Is going to be worth it. It's probably worth it after at least you get like all the arcanes to 19 and like the accessories star forcing done. Probably all 20 or 21. Uh, okay. maybe a few 19s if you're like waiting on the you know like with the Sweetwater Pendant right you're kind of like waiting for the yeah. switch over um, but, but pro and so after that but probably before um, before you try to go like three line attack on the emblem okay so like Second in, between, question. in between there yeah so Oz rings yeah you put it on use the buff yeah when do you take it off again? So if you're a full three minute, cl this is definitely, uh, there's there's two options. One is that you just, you do a BA and you do a BA with uh, the ring on the whole time. You do a BA with switching and you kind of see what the difference is there. And then you try it in a boss mm -hmm. fight and you see how cancer it is to actually switch. And then you decide whether or not you want to do it. You do have dark mm -hmm. side, so you might have benefit of like doing up the full burst. You know, maybe Damien goes up in the air and just starts sitting there. Oh, you just pop on dark side, go stand in the corner, swap it, right? Yeah, um, yeah. Later on, some people do like to use iframes as well to swap it. Um, sometimes they'll use the, um, the liberation iframe to, to, mm -hmm. like, to, to use that to set up the whole burst to swap the rings. Um, sometimes they'll only just swap from one Oz ring to another ring. Um, the shorter your burst is and the longer the cooldown in between your bursts, the more beneficial switching rings in between will be because you're losing damage for a longer time, right? Because if I wear an Oz ring, uh, well, I'm not on my thing, but if I like have an Oz ring on and I have whatever is my fifth ring basically hovering over it on my arc, that's like, I don't know, I think it's like seven, seven mil range or something on mm -hmm. like a base of 80 something. So it's like, that's a big chunk. So. On my arc, personally, I don't switch because, you know, you ping because uh, we're two minute um, and I only have one ring. But uh, yeah, ideally, I would have like a weapon jump three or we well, weapon jump four, ideally, and a roar four. And then I would switch mm -hmm. to the other one somewhere in the boss fight and then just kind of like wait until the next burst. 
um and if you have let's say let's say if you have like a dawn warrior or something right where you have everything on three mm -hmm. minute and then in between three minutes it's basically just your dpming it's probably going to be pretty good if you have like a 21 or maybe if you have like your solid ring right or you have the 22 kana by the time if you if you do get an et that you tap into that instead that will make up for a lot of the damage in the meantime um but best thing would be to do is to do a ba and kind of see how much of a difference it is because okay, it might okay. be too small where you're like, ah, fuck this, it's too annoying. Maybe you'll switch in like Hard Lotus or Hard Damien or something if you feel a little bit more confident. But in Chaos Tenebris, you might be like, yeah, no, I'm <laughs> I'm already like strapped for lives. This is kind of crazy. I'm just going to yeah. play more safe. Gloom. Mm -hmm. Although for Gloom, you so do have Dark Side, so it might be oh, yeah, relatively safer for you to do it. But like for me, on my Arc and Gloom, and like, I'm just not even going <laughs> to pretend to... Um. Or think Satan of, himself. Think about that, you know. Satan's asshole glaring at boss. you. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 I'm not talking about, I'm not talking about Satan's asshole, I'm talking about Satan. Oh, Satan, okay. Hate that guy. Mm. Super German fuck. You hate him? Oh, I thought you would love yeah, Satan. Yeah, I don't... I... Sorry, I'm talking about Dunkel. Dunkel, yeah. Don't... Ugh. Saying his name to him, shivers down my fucking <laughs> spine, I hate that bitch. Yeah, then today I, I managed to get hit by stun ball into a wombo combo twice yeah, in the I first ten percent. Oh you, my god! You, you, you didn't see my comment of why didn't you use dark side? <laughs> oh, I didn't see that. No, I should have done that. Yeah. Yeah, That's so crazy. Some... You always complain about these drops. I just use dark side, yeah, dude. Do. Yeah, I don't know why. I just keep forget I keep forgetting. You know. Um, for for some on your good thing I'm I was uh, like untiltable, so I just mm -hmm. recovered and I think I ended up with two lives left. So we're good. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You said like it was a bad start, but a yeah, great the, start. one of the worst starts I've ever. Had. <laughs> Honest. The only worst start is if I forget my guild skills and then I have to start popping those during it while dodging everything. It's, that's that's horrible. Okay. Um. So I got here. Make sure to rotate Star Force and get everything to nineteen before you get to twenty-one. Yeah, definitely um, work on those resources, right, for those bigger projects. So, if you don't have any dineros, get some of those. Uh, make sure you do gollocks, keep the reinforced rings and uh, e rings and the superiors. Belts, no need. Pendants, yeah. And uh, arc, right? If you need to, check your characters for grand spell essences and for um, twisted times. And mm -hmm. check the resources. I think it's 150. You can already check, right? Because you don't need a recipe when you craft it. So you can already check now uh, what the resources yeah. are for it. Mm -hmm. Ring. Blah, blah, blah. I think it's 150. Yeah, 150 Grand Spell Essences. Oh, yeah. 35 Philosopher Stones. Okay. But you can build those up pretty easily, right? I think I have like a... Mana Crystals. Yeah, and 800 Twisted Times for each. Uh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, that's okay. quite Oh, yeah, I think I have, like, literally, like, around 30,000 <laughs> total. Yeah, yeah, you might have a stack, uh, a few stacks somewhere. If you have that yeah. many, you could also, you know, for, for for cash reserves, you could also sell a stack, right? It's also good money. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm talking about mana crystals. Oh, mana crystals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, mana crystals are... Sometimes I'm, yeah. I'm only rocking 2,600. Diamond Dungeon, so. yeah. Uh, so definitely check the other characters for those resources and see where you're at. Mm -hmm. Um... So it's if you available. if you can't make any if you're like strapped for for um, for materials and you maybe only can make one at most anyway then I wouldn't even wor work worry about going to Meister. Uh, okay. I would just look at one project at a time for the rings and just you know aim low and hope high basically. Um, yeah. And if you get some more kind of treasures before then, then that'd be cool. So make sure you get all the drop rate when you can to uh, increase your chances. Um, Heart. We're not cubing on that. You got your seven-day monster parker. You got two hearts. That's twice as many as I have. I've only seen one still. <laughs> I think I'm about 125 runs dry that I haven't seen one. <laughs> so pissed. I don't have a berserk yet. I'm not sure I have berserked over the hearts. Gonna be real. Yeah, my uh, I just got a eye patch today, but I just have traces everywhere. This guy has a berserk. Look, I have a 21 berserk on my hero. Yeah, shut up. Hit your and, hero. Uh, and the trace, magic eye patch trace, and then my mm -hmm. um, marksman has, I believe, one berserk trace, I think. And then my, uh, oh no, my DA has a berserk trace, and then my arc has two berserk trace and three eye patch traces. 
Beautiful, isn't it? So why why do you why do you why do you not use the trace into the? Oh, just so I can flex on how horrible the rates are and oh. how unlucky I am. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. That's a good. Like it's like. That's like, I know 12 stars isn't much, but you know, I mean, it's... I know. Yeah, no, just infantry space alone is worth more than <laughs> than the yeah. 12 star at this point, yeah. But you're built diffy. I yeah, yeah, you. exactly. You just have to... Every day is a mortal reminder of... <laughs> mm. Of that stuff. Yeah, so I would postpone the reinforced a little bit. Not worry too much about that. Make sure the coins go towards... Uh, what, what's your Golex, Golex coin situation right now, anyway? Worse than it was, two hundred sixty. Oh god, yeah, that's uh, that's high prio. If you wanna, you wanna see twenty ones at some point. That's high prio is uh, daily coins. Golks. Ugh. Yeah. Does drop rate impact how many coins drop? No, but it does impact your superior drop rate. So you want uh, <laughs> and your reinforced earring drop rate, right? So you. Yeah. We just grab a like, ten minute coupon, like at the end of Golux, and then do normal <gasps> mm -hmm. arc and do. Um, no, I, I, I can, yeah. I can do, um, I can do, um, Golux and drop gear pretty easily. It's just Golux. Yeah. Well, you don't have to do it in drop rate gear. You can switch after and then. Yeah. Well, I'm rest. lazy, so take yeah. that and swap that. It's like a fucking. It's like it's a minute long instead of thirty seconds long. Yeah. No. Uh, yeah. <laughs> at, at your damage, I'm you just, you're still nuking it. I'm yeah. chilling. Um, I don't even use any burst. I just like. Yeah, just dash around a little bit. Yeah. Good thing you have uh, a okay. knockback in your kit. Yeah, I do. I figured out why it sometimes happened, by the way, finally. Yeah? When it's, it it pretty much stops the knockback when meso explosion, or when uh, blood money's going off. Oh, so then you can, it, it, oh, it can like pass so in between the attack. The, the frame. Yeah, <laughs> nice. You just killed your own microphone. The one frame where you're doing blood mezzo, blood money. Hello? Cynthia, rejoin. You killed your mic. Cool. Oh, you're back. Hello. I'm back. I don't know why my internet decided to go out. On the one frame that your blood money goes off, the knockback can just weave in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, nice. it's just super, like, you know. Like the exact timing that I decided to press the weave button. So oh, for me, yeah. sorry. Mm. Oh, <laughs> internet died again. <laughs> I feel that my internet's been dying too. I'm gonna go see why my internet's fucking up. <laughs> Thank you for your uh, help. I appreciate it. Yeah, you're good. No uh, other future or current uh, present day Cynia <laughs> questions. Uh, past Cynthia wants wants to know um, when Black Mage is coming out as a f fightable boss. Okay, well t you you tell her. All right, we'll do. Um, right, talk yep. to you later. So you have some souls uh, saved. Oh, You're just yeah, saving all souls. that for Genesis yeah, weapon. I, yeah, or? That's what I do. Oh. Uh, Genesis weapon, just in go. general. For yeah. like boss meals, I don't know. I like looking at them, I guess. Wait, these are all the ones you have? <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sorry. As soon as I said it, I was like, <laughs> "That's a little rude." Listen, I'm trying to get a mag lucid for my um, Genesis mm -hmm. because I like mag lucid. She's my favorite. I have it on my arcane. It looks mm -hmm. very pretty. It does look very pretty. It has little wings. At the normal, oh, right. and it's like a little bit more purpley. Mm hmm. And it has wings, it's very cute. Mag Lucid, yeah. Magnificent okay. Lucid, not Magnus Lucid. Oh, god, because it, it moves bad because it moves. Well, it's more about the pa if it's on your Genesis weapon, it's more about the passive buff. You don't really use the yeah. soul ever. I mean, also. <laughs> It scales off of magic attack. Yeah. <laughs> they did you know, I'm not really going to be using it. Not really. Did it actually no. make it so it doesn't scale off of magic attack or does it still scale off of magic attack? 
Yeah, I think they did something with it. Oof, I would have to look into it. But even with all whatever it does now, it's just it's never really good enough to just really worry about what it does damage wise. It's like familiars. Mm -hmm. They redid familiars, and it's like, okay, they do like six damage. Why are we doing this? Like, <laughs> yeah, like one one my one my level two hundred and sixty mob familiar can't one shot a level sixty monster. You know that there's something. Like on. either make them do no damage or make them do noteworthy damage. Don't do just enough damage to be annoying and to steal aggro and to, <laughs> you know, yeah. fuck up your boss runs. Yeah. Wait, where did I put those no, souls? Oh, here are the queen souls. Queens, beans. I just need to play that too. But... I need to play the um, new Xenoblade 3 DLC and cry. <laughs> and cry. Wait, do you know where I kept my... My good ones? No, I don't actually. I'm sorry. My Mercedes? No, this one has like the Arcarium ones or something. Oh. I should have it written down somewhere. Chat, where do I have my sexy ones? Chat. Yeah, it's these fucking Arcarium. Oh, look at my Mezzo bag collection. It's come along quite nicely. Lord, you're such a fucking hoarder. Can't <laughs> get over how stupid you are. <laughs> I know, right? Look at this. Oh. I mean, like, I... <laughs> <laughs> I got like um I got some equip I guess the stuff from um uh what's it called? What's that one thing called with the Julieta? What was that called again? Monad? Squirts. Yeah, Monad. I said I have Monad shit. I even have like the Monad Medal of Honor still. Oh shit, you got the yogurt and stuff like that? Yep. Yep. I'm holding on to Trudy's cream pies because it feels <laughs> weird to yeah. use. Yep. And I don't feel like using those. All right. Um. Any questions you have for me? Do um, I get to give you progression advice? Two sixty-five. When? Oh, you want to give me some advice? Sure. Do I get the D A to two eighty, or do I get my Legion to ten K? Ten K Legion. Okay. Worst advice ever. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yep. <laughs> yep. You're welcome. That's what I do. That's what I do best. For bad advice. <laughs> just pay me to get the bad advice. I'm just going to see whatever advice you gave and then just do the opposite. And then be yeah. <laughs> okay, I don't know where those souls are. I'm going to have to look those up. But there was one event uh, recently where I got... I think it was... Yeah, I got back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back Magnificent Lucid. got three in a row. Oh, Jesus Christ. Fuck you. Alright, bye, chat. Bye, I'm gonna go play more Emerald Robe because that's fun. More what? Emerald Robe? Is that an Indian? Rogue game? Emerald. Oh, no, right. it's a ROM hack. It's like, so you know roguelikes? Yeah, yeah. Imagine, well, yeah. imagine if Pokemon was a roguelike. Okay. Wait, roguelike or roguelite? Roguelike. Like Binding okay. of Isaac or Nuclear yeah. Throne or, you know, yeah, no Rogue. Of Isaac. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you know Rogue? Okay. All right. Yeah. A uh, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Um, uh huh. Um. Uh, Palace of the Dead, Heaven on High, Eureka Orthos. Those, yeah. What a gamer! Yeah. I don't know any of these. What games. a gamer! Okay. Those, those, those last year from the same game. Though. Okay. All right. Talk to you later. Bye. Yes. Okay. Love you all. Good luck. Bye bye. Uh, I need. <laughs> the microphone going in and out. All right. Boom. Um, another one. Uh, the progression session with mom was a little bit unofficial, of course. But, you know, that one was uh, content homey as well. This one is not going to be three, not three hours long. So this is a progression session in May. So make sure that if you want to win one of these sessions for yourself. And hopefully you got some, got to pick up some advice from this. With the upcoming, of course, cube sale and... 30% off and 5, 10, 15 and Shining Event and Cube Changes and Star Force Changes all coming up. So depending on where you are in the game, might be better to hold. Might be okay to spend a little bit. Um, just get those fundamentals. Get that drop of Mezogear ready. Get that WSE good line, two lines. Legendary, right? Once you have that, you save. You need time for backups. You need time for money. And then when Event, Backup, and Money come together... Poof, upgrades right uh so if you like this session uh and you want one for yourself 
check out the description of the video or use exclamation mark coaching over there in Twitch chat where you see a bunch of pink messages. What's going on? Scarter only knows Maple Story or Maple Story. Nice. Hi at Scarter. What up, Zyra? Final Fantasy 14 isn't a real game. Nice. Yes. Um, cool. Uh, if you have any questions, leave a comment or find me on Twitch. I stream there every day, twitch.tv slash Scarter. And I will see you either in the next video, session like this, or something else. Or I'll see you over on stream. Thanks for watching.